Hey guys, welcome back to Burns' Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to find the area of trapezoids. A trapezoid is a four-sided shape that has a pair of parallel lines. The parallel lines in this trapezoid are represented with these yellow markings. So if the lines are parallel, that means they will never intersect. So how do you find the area of trapezoids? Well, the formula for finding the area of trapezoids is to add base 1 plus base 2, divide the sum by the number 2, and multiply it by the height. So let's go ahead and figure out what base 1 and base 2 are and what's the height of this trapezoid. So base 1 is the top base. So this is base 1. And the bottom base is base 2. So now that we know what our bases are, let's go ahead and figure out what will be the height. The height is always going to be from base 1 to base 2. As you can see, I'm kind of cutting this trapezoid up so that it is forming a rectangle in the middle and two triangles on the opposite sides. So the height is the line that is forming in the middle to form the rectangle and the triangles. So here I've represented my height with the green dots. So this is my height and on both ends the height is the exact same so let's go ahead and give some value to our bases and our height let's say that base 1 has the value of x plus 2 and base 2 has the value of x plus 1 and our height is 7 inches so in order to find our area of this trapezoid, we need to add the base 1 and base 2 and then divide it by 2 and then t multiply it by the height. But what is the value of x? So let's say that the given value of x is 6. So if we plug substitute the 6 for the x, we will get 6 plus 2 which is 8. 6 plus 1, which is 7, and the 7 remains as it is. So we need to add 8 plus 7, which gives us 15, divided by 2, and multiply by the height, which is 7. 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 times 7, which gives us, if you go ahead and do the multiplication, 7 times 5 is 35, 5 carry the 3, 7 times 7 is 49, plus the 3 is 52, add the decimal point, and our area of this trapezoid is 52.5 inches squared. Remember to always add the squared on top whenever you're finding the area. So this is our final answer. So this is how you find the area of trapezoids. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye.